Hey everyone, today we're gonna to take a look at how you can set up a firewall on just about any Linux device using uncomplicated firewall or UFW for short. So I wanna first give the disclaimer that you're gonna to have to set this up based on your specific needs. So as far as a firewall goes, everybody will have different ports that they need to open based on whatever services they have running on their device. And for that reason, I can't tell you what ports you're gonna to have to open. So you're gonna to have to take a look at this uh, more holistically and try to understand why we're doing things, how we're doing them, and then you're gonna to have to implement them in your own system. So I'm gonna be showing you how this works on a Raspberry Pi, but like I said, this will work on just about any Linux device. So you have to first ensure that UFW is installed. If you haven't installed it yet, it's an easy command, sudo apt install UFW, and this will go ahead and it will properly install it. Once that's done, we're gonna to have to start building out our firewall rules. So there are a few different ways that you can configure firewall rules, but I'm just gonna go over some of the most used ones in my opinion. But you'll see as we go on that you're slowly going to be granting access to most of your services. So it's important to understand that when you first install UFW, while it is disabled and we will enable it a little later on, there's an initial deny all rule. So you have to think of it like everything is denied by default. So if you want anyone to be able to access anything on the specific device, you have to allow access. If you don't allow it, it will automatically be blocked. So by far the easiest command that you can run is sudo ufw allow and then whatever port you are trying to open. Now when you run this command, it will create rules for both TCP and UDP. So for example, if you have a web server running and it's using port 443, you really only need TCP, you don't need UDP. So when you run this command, it's allowing both TCP and UDP. So if you wanted to limit this to only TCP traffic, you can modify that command to say sudo ufw allow and then say port 443 forward slash TCP. This will specify that it is only opening port 443 on the TCP side. Now you could do the same for UDP. So if it was UDP, if you're using uh, OpenVPN, for example, you would put the port number and then you do forward slash UDP. This basically just allows you to specify whatever type of port you'd like opened and if you want it to be TCP or UDP or both. So as soon as you run any of those commands, it's allowing access for any IP address. So basically you're not limiting it at all. You're saying that anyone from any IP address can access this specific port on this device. Now that's not to say that you have to, you can limit access if you'd like. So we're gonna run another command here and we're basically gonna say that a specific subnet, in this case the 192.168.1 subnet, can access port 22 on the specific IP address of this Raspberry Pi that I have it running on. So to break this command down, we're writing sudo ufw allow from 192.168.1.0 forward slash 24, which basically means any IP address from the 192.168.1 subnet. We're then saying to 192.168.1.25, and that is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi, and then port 22. So in summary, any IP address on the 192.168.1 subnet can access port 22 on my Raspberry Pi. Now that is an allow rule. If you wanna allow traffic based on a specific IP subnet, you can do it that way. You can do the exact same thing for a deny rule. So if you wanted to deny traffic, you would run the exact same command, except you would specify deny as opposed to allow. That would basically deny traffic to that IP address and port uh, for anyone in that specific subnet. Now keep in mind that I just gave an example for a subnet, but you could do the exact same thing for an IP address as well. So if you have a service running on your device and you want it to only be accessible by a specific IP address, you can run the exact same command and instead of putting the subnet, you would just put the IP address. So you kind of have to change this command around a little bit based on your needs, but it's important to highlight that you could do it based on IP address or based on subnet. The final command that we're gonna take a look at is if you wanna open it for an IP range. So let's assume that you have services running on port 8080, 8081, and 8082. You can go ahead and create three different rules for those if you'd like, or you can go in and create an IP range rule. And this is basically just sudo ufw allow 8080 colon 8082, and then you could do forward slash TCP or forward slash UDP to limit access to either TCP or UDP. 
This is basically saying we have one command and we're going to allow access to all three of those ports. So those are some of the ways that you can allow or deny traffic. Basically, you allow and deny traffic the exact same way. The only thing is you'd replace allow with deny if you want to deny traffic. You also have to keep in mind that everything is denied by default. So if you are specifying a deny rule, it would generally coincide with some type of an allow rule. So you're allowing traffic on port 443, for example, but you're also denying traffic from a specific IP range on that same port. Now, one additional way that you can build on top of these rules is to force limits. So for example, if you allow traffic on the SSH port, uh, which the default port for that is 22, you can run a command UFW limit 22. Implementing this will basically help protect against brute force attacks. So whenever you implement this rule, it will allow you to try and log in six times within 30 seconds. If you try and log in a seventh time, you will get blocked. So at this point, you have to go through and with everything that we just went over, build out your specific firewall rules. So for everybody, this is gonna to be totally different. Now keep in mind, we have not enabled the firewall yet and we're gonna do that in a little bit, but you have to go through and make sure that you're allowing traffic on whatever services need to be accessed. So I'm gonna give a huge disclaimer at this point. And that disclaimer is that if you are using SSH to access whatever device you're using this UFW firewall on, you have to allow SSH traffic before you enable the firewall. If you enable the firewall without allowing SSH traffic, you will lock yourself out of the device. So for me, that is port 22. I am currently accessing this Raspberry Pi through SSH. So if I don't allow the SSH port and I enable the firewall, I will not be able to access this device. So if you're using SSH and it's not on the default port, you have to allow traffic on whatever port that will be. So while that's a disclaimer for SSH, you have to make sure that you allow traffic on whatever port that you're using to access your devices. If you don't allow traffic, you will be denied. If you're happy with these firewall rules, you can go on to the next steps. If it's missing anything, you have to make sure that you add it before you enable the firewall. So if everything looks good, you can enable the firewall. To do that, you can run a command sudo ufw enable. When you run that, you might get a message stating that the existing SSH connections might be dropped. You'll have to press Y to proceed. If you run that same sudo ufw status command, you'll now see that the firewall is active. So we went through how to create rules, how to enable the firewall, and we're quickly gonna look at how you can delete rules. So you might look at this and you might say that you accidentally created a rule, you have to go through and delete it. So what you have to do is run a command sudo ufw status numbered. And basically that's gonna pull up all of your rules and it's gonna put a number next to them. As soon as you see the number to whatever rule you wanna delete, you can run a command sudo ufw delete and then whatever that number is. At that point, it's gonna tell you exactly what you're deleting and then you'll have to press Y to proceed. So overall, that is how you can use UFW to allow and deny traffic based on whatever rules you create. So hopefully it wasn't too complicated. There are GUIs that you can install depending on whatever operating system you're using, but I find that the command line is somewhat easy as soon as you understand kind of how the commands work. So hopefully this made sense. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.